Behind me is the rapid they call the Cruncher, a dramatic start to this course which drops about 10 metres from Bronte Lagoon behind us into the main Brady's Lake below. This is part of the Tasmanian Hydro Scheme. A great course, it's been in action for about three or four decades. I can remember a British world champion, Albert Kerr, coming out here and racing in 1979. So it's really part of the, the landscape of Australian slalom and a really an excellent contrast with the, the concrete and the artificial Olympic venue at Penrith. Here we are in the wilds of Tasmania against the elements and the athletes love it. The drama, the excitement, the adrenaline rush of racing on Brady's Lake. really came down to the last run in the women's kayak as well. Like, it was still open, anyone could make it, anyone could miss out. So it made for exciting and very stressful two weeks. Yeah. And well, Brady uh, is, we can all see that, it's, it's definitely not Penrith, very different character. Um, what makes Brady's Brady's? It looks very spectacular to me. I think it's just a really exciting course. It's fast, it's heaps going on the whole way down and you have to be on your game and it's just a nice environment. You know, there's not concrete everywhere, so it makes it a bit more picturesque. <laughs> This course is phenomenally fast, so I think when you're in the flow, you can do nothing and still be as quick as someone who's sprinting in the flow for some reason. So for me, all the time is in the upstreams. If you're good in and up and back to the flow really quickly, then you know, you're going to win the race for sure. Even if you float all the way down the main flow, if you're good in an upstream, you'll win the race. I think if you look at the best paddlers in the world, they're good everywhere. So it's good to be good in Penrith, it's, it's good to be good down here. and. I think the best paddlers in the world are really good at adapting to the course and to the what the gates are set but also to the water. Well what happened? Uh, I think I was just got a bit too excited and tried to go too fast and forgot my line a bit and just pinned it on the rock on collision and yeah pushed me back a bit and it was a pretty big hit but I'm sure that's some good footage. <laughs> Kynan uh, actually got a double selection if I may call it like that. Yeah. One in the C1 and one in the C2. Yeah it's, it's been pretty good. It's um. It's a bit more interesting racing two classes. You're, you're basically racing all day, so it's a lot more happening, and it went went really well. In C1, we both had pretty solid selections, but C2, we were really happy. A huge step up from last year, and and yeah, it's, it couldn't have really gone much better, to be honest. Uh, it feels good um, to be on the team. I was only on the team for C1 last year, and this year I've made it in K1 as well, so I'm very happy about that. Yeah, the top course is just impressive. Kind of, kind of like Tatsen, yeah. yeah. Oh, what a terrific weekend of racing here at Brady's Lake. It started out a bit fresh, but it finished with sunshine. Racing came down to the wire at the end of it, thanks to Canoe Tasmania, Derwent Canoe Club and Hydro for releasing the water. Congratulations to all the athletes selected to our Australian teams. Mm -hmm.